All right, last question. Muffins for hams or skunks for feet? Remember, the skunks are you, yours, so you control their skunkness, and the muffins will come back if you eat them. So if I, if I have a muffin hand and I eat it, it's still going to grow back? Yes. Muffin hands? I got a question for you. What kind of muffin? Whatever muffin you want. Corn muffin! Oh, the corn muffin hand, dude. What if, can I have a muffin beard? So yes. Can I have oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, can I have one one flavor here and one flavor here? Yes. All right. They're your hands. Have, can I have chocolate chips in this one and, like, almonds in this one? Yes. This comes from feet. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I can do with the skunks for feet. I don't know. Piss a lot of people off. Run like stink. <laughs> Piss a lot of people off. Yeah. yeah, probably. Make them really think you don't shower. <laughs> well, after about two weeks, uh, cause we, we don't get hotel rooms. We sleep in the van. So after about shower two in weeks, the rain. that van. Oh, oh. I think yeah, it was the first first day of the hate breed tour. We, we all we got we got to the venue early and we, we the night before and we slept there in the van. And it was winter. Yeah, it was it, yeah, it was what? It was December. It's not so like it was hot outside. And basically we got we got there, everybody started kinda of, uh, rolling out of sleep. Of course everybody started farting. <laughs> and then uh I think it was Bob. He, he hopped out and uh, decided that he was going to stick his head in the window. Like, the window of the van was cracked open. And after him getting fresh air from outside, he stuck his head in the window and he just felt just about Bob. Oh, wait, that was the Norva. Yeah. Was that the Norva? Yeah. I was still in the van. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just nasty. Oh, yeah. But the feeder store was the worst, though, because it was like, it was like summer and we were, yeah. hitting the, we were hitting the south like, like crazy. I don't know. It was just... I. I think it was like the first week and a half, I was like, well, I'm not shaving, I'm not showering, this whole tour. And then it just, I don't know, it just got kind of weird. I wasn't, I wasn't really, because I can't really grow that well, because I, 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 I want either. this, but I, I, all, right. I get is, all I get is this. But I was like, man, this is terrible. Well, like, I was like itchy, and I just felt absolutely just disgusting. So, I baby wipe. Yeah, yeah baby wipes, it's a muscle in the road. Yep, absolutely. I lied. I forgot one more question. Guilty pleasure. What is your guilty pleasure? Something you wouldn't expect your fans to know. Like listening to Britney Spears or uh, InSync or something along those lines. What um, did we do? What was it? No, nah, Stroudsburg. We listened to Millie Vanilli. Oh yeah. We listened to a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. Like <laughs> my iPod right now, I've got I mean yeah, I've got a bunch of I've got a bunch of metal and stuff. I got like Peter Tosh. I've got old old black Michael Jackson. I've got <laughs> Dr. Dre, the Chronic. <laughs> I've got a bunch of weird stuff, but I have mixtapes. Actually, I'll, I'll I'll say yeah, I'll say one. All right, I don't have any of her CDs, but I really like Nora Jones' books. Love her books. But hey, whatever. I'm wearing a Campbell Corp shirt. <laughs> what? Can I do something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really. I, just, I went there. No shame. I don't care. I have no shame, but I, I listen to everything. Awesome. I'm not guilty about it. Yeah. If I can feel it, if I can, you know, <laughs> you right? Yeah. If I can feel something, if I can, you know, that's why I like a lot of old stuff, you know, because old stuff to me, I mean, that's, that's, I think that's something we've lost sight of with the technology of today is like, you know, nobody can sit down as a band and record it and, and put it out. I mean, even, even like, you know, like the late 80s, early 90s, they're still, Bands are still recording as a band. You know, of course, they go back and fix it afterwards, but like what you got live is exactly what you got on the record. Right? Yeah. yeah, and you had to work at it. You, you couldn't just like put it in a computer, make it perfect, put a drum loop in there, and then someone plays the guitar part once and then loops it. It's like that's not what we're doing here. You know, what we do is real, it's raw. Like this, on this record, you're going to hear parts where like Chris is playing and you can hear his fingers on the strings. Like that's real. It's real music and it's like we're doing it old school. You can even hear him dance anytime. You can hear my hat dance. Like, just going nuts. Dancing. Yeah. Dancing, dancing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'd really like to thank you for sitting down with us, taking the thank time. You. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful experience. And oh, thanks for having Good us. luck with future tours and, and I hope the new album does well. I hope so too. If it doesn't then well. That gonna put out another one. Yeah, put out another one. <laughs> yeah, that sucks well, for you guys. Yeah. yeah, no, we just hope people dig it. And uh, if not, then we're sorry. Yeah. We wrote heavy music.
But be it. Be ready for it. It comes out sometime in the spring. Yeah, like May, June. I went Stillborn Records with EMI doing the distribution, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. So thank you, Jamie Jost and Stillborn Records, and thanks, Zeus, for making it happen. Making it happen. Yeah. Very awesome. Thank you. Woo. Yeah. i give you a high five. Take it easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, and before I forget, uh, we're going to be hitting the road this spring. Um, it starts at the New England Metal and Hardcore Festival, which is uh, April 18th. You can catch us there. We're playing with Lamb of God, As the Dying, God Forbid, Children of Bodom. It's going to be a good time, but our, our tour starts there. It's going to be us with the Destro, our good friends, and uh, the Autumn Offering. It's going to be a good time. We're going to be hitting down south, and uh, so if you're uh, in the area, make sure you check it out. Thywillbedone.net or myspace.com slash thywillbedonemetal. And you can see us on tour this spring. Woo! Details soon. Yeah.